Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ultimate Bird Simulator. We are here with our bald eagle flock. Ooh, look at that, and there's some food right down there. Let's go ahead and snag that delicious looking hair. And almost there, almost there. Come on, Talon, you've got it. Oh yes, and a one hit kill. Perfect swoop, Talon, wonderful. But we are here with the sky tree flock. So these are our bald eagles. We've been doing a very good job of working with them so far. And little Talon is their first child, so their first eaglet who is all grown up and he is ready to take to the skies. Oh, and that actually reminds me, one second, Let's go ahead and land him really quickly. He is actually under level 10 right now, so we would still consider him a juvenile. And a lot of you guys have suggested that we should change him dun -dun -dun, to the darker feathers. And I really love that idea because it will actually be several years before a bald eagle fledgling will gain their brighter feather colors. So we're going to leave him with darker feathers and kind of a darker tint. In fact, if I could make it, let's see, can I change this to like, there we go. Now he looks brown. That is actually what a young juvenile bald eagle will look like. So Talon finally, finally, finally looks his age, which is quite the young juvenile. Let's send him down to get a little bit of a drink. And if you guys recall, last time we left off, we were actually trying to get Talon to the point. Ooh, can I get that fish actually? Come on. Oh, yes, we got a fish. Oh man, that's going to make his dad so happy. Fish happens to be one of Skye's favorite things to eat. So let's let Talon go ahead and get some food. He can come over, kind of interact with his parents for a second. Where did that fish think it's going? Did you see that? It tried to it tried to escape. You're already dead fish. You're already dead and you're our food. Oh well, we'll just have to leave it be, I suppose. We'll go ahead and get some water. But last time we left off with Talon proving himself to his bald eagle family, the sky tree flock, with our almost game of feathers, game of thrones sort of parallel that we've been doing with our bird flock so far. And Talon had a mission to go around and collect a lot of golden berries. And unfortunately, there was a little bit of a glitch. And so we have lost that mission as sometimes happens. So I think that Sky and cloud were not very impressed by the idea of just their their young son proving his ability to join the sky tree family and bring them lots of acclaim and fame and the respect of the other bird flocks in the area by gathering up berries i don't think they were that impressed by that so instead he has a new mission of going around and collecting up golden bug carcasses and i think that's a pretty fun one so we're going to go ahead and work with talon today to try to gather up as many of those bug carcasses as possible and then today will be possibly the last day that we are with the sky tree flock for now because you guys we have hit level 15 a while ago and that means that hummingbirds are waiting for us and i really 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 want to spend time as a hummingbird but i thought it should be at least fair for talon to have an opportunity to grow up from juvenile to level 10 which is when we consider them to be adults so without further ado we've already had our morning breakfast and we We've already had our morning drink so we're gonna head off and we are going to try to find those golden bug carcasses so which direction do we need to go we need to go up this way all right up we go Talon he is a little one but he's he's slowly but surely making it up through his juvenile years and he's gonna gain his adult feathers maybe even by doing this quest which would be pretty exciting oh my gosh he's so small though okay maybe if we just go up really high and then kind of coast the rest of the way. That's better. So maybe instead of this like little jerky flying that we've been doing with him, we just need to go super, super high and then continue forward. All right, are we working towards? All right, so the golden bug carcasses should be somewhere over here. And I imagine the golden berries probably go bad after a while because they're berries, you eat them. But maybe the golden bug carcasses are sort of like hard exoskeletons we could decorate the nest with. Because I like to imagine that our bald eagle family, because we're sort of making this into a, a Game of Thrones, Game of Nest, Game of Feathers sort of thing. Uh, I like to imagine our bald eagle family likes to decorate. Ooh, there we go likes to decorate their nest with some of the feathers of the fallen the fallen warriors that they fought that they've been able to take out oh my gosh this looks really cool check this out check this out you guys oh my goodness yeah this looks like treasure so if we decorate our nest i want to kind of get a better glance at this with like the um the oh that's so cool 
yeah we've been decorating our nest with the raccoon tails with the feathers of all of the birds that we fight so we can prove that our flock happens to be the best flock then of course decorating with this golden beetle is going to be a really fun thing to do so there's golden beetle number one and let's go ahead and lock the camera again and then we're going to go over to golden beetle number two and that's going to be on the little tropical island and then we are finally going to have the opportunity to go over to the winter island and see what it has to offer and collect up the last two golden beetles so that should be kind of interesting all right now we just have to fly straight this direction oh look there's some food thank goodness let's go get that food and as we go through the quest so that talon can hopefully gain his adult feathers by proving himself on this mission kind of like how we did with uh kilala if you guys remember kilala and her daughter nettle had to prove herself on her mission and that turned into a tragedy oh my goodness because that's actually when when thistleclaw <laughs> thistleclaw and the bison oh that was so terrible so that turned into a tragedy but i think our eagles will probably be a lot safer and as we get more comfortable with Ultimate Bird Simulator, we will totally start adding in the ability for the birds to potentially pass away. Um, but not just yet, not just yet. We're still getting used to things and probably several different seasons because I am so in love with this. You guys still love it. And we'll start rotating between the different birds and kind of building up on their stories and the challenges that we make them face as time goes on too. All right, are we headed in the right direction? We sure are. You can see the tropical island far in the distance there. And thank you guys for suggesting that I start changing the colors of several of our eagles too. So I can kind of alter what what coat color. I guess I should call it plumage because they're birds. Even if the game calls it coat colors. But we should alter like what plumage they've got. And it's really fun to be able to see Talon look like a juvenile. Because he's got his juvenile plumage on. Alright, let's push through this. So much snow. Why is the island so far away? Oh, here we go. The island. I'm starting to see some of it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so let's see what happens now because last time we came here, there was a wild bear chase off a cliff. They were chasing a goose and it was very, it was very exciting because they literally ran right off this cliff, two bears. So it was quite the moment. Cloud and sky are following behind. I have a feeling they're just going to see what their sun is up to. All right, we're going to go ahead, slow down for a moment. Let's land. Can I shake this tree? <gasps> I can shake this. Oh, what kind of fun things. Oh my gosh, look at the apple go. Goodbye, Apple. It's rolling towards the sea. All right, we might come over and try nibbling it because we're a very curious young eaglet. There we go. Hey, hey, Dad, that was mine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. And we can, we can have a little conversation with his parents. It's so interesting how they are so huge compared to us now because they're higher level. Hey, stop trying to take my stuff, you two. All right, shaking these bushes. We can go ahead and communicate with them for a second. And then onward we go. Ooh, there's some nice food down there. Let's go see what's going on down here. I spy some carcasses and some other birds. Are those the flamingos again? Who are you? <gasps> Cockatoos? What? Yes. Oh, good job. All right, good job, Talon. I think he wanted the cockatoo feathers. Oh my goodness, we took out a, a whole cockatoo. Oh my gosh. All right. I think he wanted the feathers to decorate the nest because that's fancy. Fancy pink feathers. I think his parents approve. They're teaching him how to be ruler of the skies, which means you do take out the other bird species. It's very much more, um, it's got a little bit more of an edge of, of hardcore predatory violence uh, in the, the ultimate bird simulator because of how we play it. I really love the idea of the game of nest or the game of feathers, as a lot of you guys have started calling it. Lots and lots of fun names for what we should call the competition between the different birds. All right, so we'll stop for any food we might come across because Talon is a very young bird and he's going to be pretty hungry. But we should be coming up on the golden carcass any second now. So let's see if we can find it. The golden little bug. Is that it? Is this it? Ah, there it is! I think I see it! It's over here by the the water's edge. Alright, let's go ahead and land. There it is! Alright, another piece of treasure. I do think that Cloud in particular would be quite proud if her son gathered up so much treasure that they can put inside of their nest. And let's see, where's the next spot? You guys, we're gonna go to the winter area for the first time. Alright, this should be pretty good. And we will stop for any food that... Uh, that our little Talon may need as well. 
because he's going to need to grow. That's the other goal that we always have with these kinds of special missions and events is to help our youngest member grow to a safe age. All right, let's go ahead and swoop down a little bit lower. I don't see anything just yet. Okay, we'll land by the riverside, or we'll land by the ocean side, I suppose. And we'll see if there's any food inside of this log that we can nibble on. Okay, any bugs or anything pop out? I don't see anything, and the fog is a little bit heavy. Oh, wait, what's this? It's a little worm! You guys, food! All right, is it like a- wait, is that not a worm? What? Oh my gosh, what was that? Where do you think you're going, buddy? How did that squirrel just, like, swim out from the ocean? Let's go get him. Come on, Talon. Come on, go faster. Ah, oh, which reminds me, maybe we need to level him up. That's the other reason that he's doing this, because he needs to level up a little bit and get a little bit faster so that he can, he can eat better. I forget how... It's been a little while, so I actually have forgotten how important it is for them to level up. Okay. Can he just, like, yell with his parents? There we go. Come on, almost leveled up. Almost leveled up. There we go. Is he talking to mom or dad? Who knows? Maybe this is why I should start changing what their colors are so I can tell them apart. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Now he's got a buff upgrade. So we'll increase the effect of that. Nothing on his skill upgrades and nothing yet on his stat upgrades. Okay. So he's not going to get much faster just yet, but at least we managed to catch a little chipmunk. All right. So we're going to go ahead. Any other prey items to take out right now? No, just mysterious creepy fog. And off we go. Okay. And now we're going to be heading off to the next island, which we've never visited before. So Talon is breaking new grounds for the, the Sky Tree flock. And we're going to have to think about what we're going to name our adorable hummingbird flock. Whoops. When we finally get to the hummingbirds. All right. Let's recover his stamina for just a second. Maybe like the flower or something with flowers. Something with flowers would probably be appropriate for hummingbirds, if you ask me, for their flock name. All right, and we should be coming up on it any second now. Oh, I'm really excited. And a lot of you guys are actually really, oh, I need to stop, like, stop checking out the birds because I'm so excited about the other bird species we're going to unlock. But a lot of you guys are super excited about the idea of working with the owls as well. So we will be working with the owls at some point in the future. All right, here we go. Oh, look, you guys! It's our very first sighting. Oh my gosh, what's happening over here? Look at that! <gasps> the bears! The bears are chasing the reindeer off a cliff. Oh, the humanity. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at this. I can't believe they did that. That is hilarious. So the bears are chasing reindeer straight off a cliff. There's so many creatures. What on earth? Look at this winter woods. Oh my gosh, are those bobcats? There's dead bobcats everywhere. There's owls absolutely everywhere. Are there other eagles coming for us? Oh my gosh, there's a wolf. There's a wolf absolutely going bonkers, chasing somebody down. So we're gonna, we're gonna feast because this is amazing. So Talon and his parents can just kind of come on in. We're just going to eat up all of the food that's been left behind. Kind of like vultures, I guess, is what you could think of it. But we're just going to call ourselves opportunistic, not vultures, honestly. Look, there's another dead eagle. Holy moly, what kind of what kind of vicious world have we just walked into? I have no idea how his family is going to be able to take this. There's a teeny little bit of food left right there. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and dig in here just to see. Might as well, since this whole world seems to be pretty full of... Uh, all sorts of activity. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and eat this little bug. There we go. All right, come here, little bug. And then let's go ahead and waddle. Oh, what? We can shake this bush? Oh my gosh. That bush gave a good shake. Oh, there's even nuts over here. What on earth? There's nuts too? Hey, hey, mom, dad, they shoved me right away from being able to eat that nut. Ah, oh, all right, look, look, look. I'm gonna get out of here. There we go. Oh, there's a tornado. It's coming towards us! Move it! The winter woods area is a little bit more extreme than I was expecting. Oh my gosh. You guys, there's a tornado. I can't believe this. This area, this land is intense. I wonder if maybe we should make our new home here. Let's get away from the tornado. It's coming for us. Oh my gosh. All right, keep flying. Keep flying, Talon. 
Get away from that chaos. Is it gone? Okay, it's gone now. All right. Wow, that was pretty amazing. I have no idea what Sky and Cloud think about that, but this is, is that a noodle? There's a noodle on the ground down there, so let's go get it. That was pretty intense. And it looks like there's just like a giant pit hole in the ground here. And there's a noodle right here though. Can I get it? Come here, food. Ah, I can't see. Okay, hang on. I've messed up the little camera. Okay, locked. There we go. Uh-huh. Hey, mom, dad. Come get the noodle with me. All right, we should be able to take it out. No problem. Look at that. Critical hits left and right. Yes, and a little bit of experience. Now we can actually eat it too. Mom, dad, I swear those two. Did they just take the snake? I thought they just like pulled the snake away from us. I was going to have some complaints. All right, so we've got our little noodle for, for lunch. That was interesting. Let's settle in and we can get a little bit of water. I actually really love this area. I was not expecting it to be so intense. Oh, there's even some food down here. I mean, you got to admit, like landing while some bears are chasing reindeer straight off a cliff and then finding yourself feasting upon like bobcats while wolves are chasing eagles. And then just as you're about to go eat the eagles and collect their feathers, a tornado shows up. That was pretty intense. All right. And look, we even got a little dragonfly. Wonderful talent. Good job. All right. So that was pretty fun. Um, let's push our way up and let's see. If we can manage to find, it looks like there's a big bit of water up on top of this. Yeah, look at this. It's almost like a glacial river melt. And we're just going to fly straight forward. And on the other side of this should possibly be... Wow, this is pretty. Should possibly be where we'll be able to see... Is that... Are those... Those are sheep! Oh my gosh. And there's some more food down here. What's this? Oh, it's another, it's another snake. All oh, right, we got it. There we go. Let's actually land and eat that snake really quickly because that'll be good experience for Talon. But wow, okay. <laughs> I like this area. I'm kind of tempted to have our bald eagles move over here because this winter area is very, very lovely and very challenging. And I think that this is the kind of family that finds a lot of honor in a challenge. All right, come back here, little bug. All right, we got the little bug. So let's go ahead and eat that. Oh, are we are we fulfilling somebody else's mission while we're doing this? We are, we're fulfilling Cloud's mission while we're collecting up the exoskeletons from these bugs. That's amazing. Hey sheep, you really don't need this. This is like food for us. What are you doing? What the heck? Oh my gosh. I am not gonna be killed by a sheep. What kind of, oh my goodness. What, I can't even, mom, dad, help. Do you see this? That sheep is like trying to kill us. This is this is just absolute absolute silliness. Do I need to be lower to attack it? Why can't we get it? Oh yes, we got the sheep. Oh my gosh, you guys. I like this area. I think next time we come back to our sky tree flock with our bald eagles, we're going to have to have them move in here cuz this is just the perfect world for them. It's got so much drama going on. It's quite amazing. I don't see any flowers, so this would not be a good world for our little hummingbirds. And I wonder if we would find flowers in the desert too. So we found the tropical area. We found the temperate forest. We found the winter forest. And then there's finally a desert zone that we need to go investigate at some point too. But for now, up we go, Talon. The weather has finally cleared up. There are all sorts of hawks and moose and birds running all over the place. And we're going to see if we can find the final two golden exoskeletons, the, the golden bug carcasses that we can take back and we can add to our nest and gain a bit of fame for. All right, what was down here? There are a lot of these little, oh my gosh, that's a mountain. So there's a lot of little spots in the ground where things can hide. All right, let's see. So we should be coming up pretty soon. We're gonna fly right over, if I'm not careful, a boss. So if I go way up high, <gasps> what's that? There's like a nest spot we can have there. Oh man, you guys. I think we could have a lot of fun here. I'm happy. The winter woods is a lot more dramatic than I thought it would be. All right, we'll slow down for a second. Now where should the next, right ahead, huh? 
So we should be able to find the final two golden carcasses right ahead, or I should say the golden beetles. Is it gonna be on top of the mountain? That would be kind of hilarious if it was like literally on top of here. I think there's one of them right there. All right, let's go down and get it. Almost there, and Talon has almost leveled up again from all of this adventuring. Good job, Talon. All right, we're gonna collect this one. And now he has one final one to collect. It should be just right this direction. So let's hurry up and head over here. And I'm in love with the Winter Woods. I think at some point in the near future, we are definitely going to have to return to the Winter Woods. But I'm very eager to start playing with some of the other bird species as well. So we're going to give that a good go. Let's see. And somewhere nearby. Right nearby. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Because I don't think it's going to be an open, easy spot to see. Aha! There it is! All right! And we found the final golden beetle. There we go. So now Talon is able to prove himself to his parents. He has now added wealth and prestige and fame to his family flock, which will hopefully keep them safe. Because in a world where people are not afraid of you, the way that they could be of Talon, uh, there's a lot of danger. There's a lot of danger that you may you may end up fighting another another flock or you may end up uh, Wounded or injured from them So now we're gonna have to send Talon back to the nest and I will see if we can complete his little mission And then I will see you guys next time when we will switch from this family to the hummingbirds I'm very excited to try out some of the new bird species and I look forward to exploring the world and seeing what kind of adventures emerge from all of the the randomness that happens So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye. Bye.